Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rayanne and I love talking about all things interior design. I have a good one for you today. We're going to be talking about 20 and I think I have a bonus one in there too. Accent wall ideas that you can do at home that will really elevate your entire space. Doing an accent wall in your home is a budget friendly way to just take your space to the next level. They're just a great way to take a ordinary very plain wall and really make it look amazing and give your home some extra character. All right, for the first one, we're going to keep it simple. Let's talk about just painting one wall a different color than the rest of the walls. Think maybe like a moody black color behind your bed or even like a dark green would really make your space. Having just one wall in your room be a different color is really going to make that wall a focal point in your room. If you've watched any of my DIY videos, you know one of the first things I do when I move into a house or I'm decorating a space is to paint the walls. I have been painting my entire home pure white, except for a few spaces where I have some accent walls and it just makes such a huge difference. All right, the next one is to add some wallpaper. They make it so easy nowadays with the peel and stick wallpaper. I have tried it a few times and I have been looking at a few other options for my current home. I am so excited, but a great place to do this would be in a half bathroom where you don't have the moisture from the shower but just a simple way to update that room and you could even go a little bold or creative with the wallpaper you choose. All right, the next one is having a fake brick wall. Brick brings some texture into a space and while it's not for everyone's home or style, it can be a great accent piece, even if you just want it on one wall or maybe even half a wall in your space. You can do this really easily by getting a temporary wallpaper that looks like brick and that way you can really pick any color of brick that you want. All right, the next DIY accent wall that you could do is shiplap. There are so many ways you can use shiplap. I'm not just talking about the more old fashioned horizontal ones that we used to see on shows like Fixer Upper, but you can take shiplap and make it more modern by doing it vertically instead of horizontally. And then another extra step is to paint it a dark moody color and that just takes it up an edge too. You can get pre-cut shiplap at your local Lowe's or Home Depot or you can get cheaper pieces of like Luan which is a very thin material and you can go ahead and cut it yourself or have someone cut it for you and then glue and nail it to the wall. I did this in one of our houses and it just changed the entire look of the the room, but you can really create so many different designs and patterns with shiplap and just make it custom to what you love. Wood is so popular right now. And one thing you could do is instead of shiplap, think about using just raw wood for an accent wall. This would be great like in a bedroom or even a hallway. You don't even have to do the whole wall. You could just do like the lower half of the wall and the wood just helps give warmth to a space. You could add some wood planks to your kitchen island, a bar area if you have one, or even on the back of some open shelving and some cabinets, and it's just gonna elevate that so much. All right, the next DIY accent wall you could do is tile, or even easier is peel and stick tile. It has come a long way since I first used this about six or seven years ago. They did not have as many options as they do now. There are so many amazing peel and stick tile pieces that I found on Amazon. I am also doing my own DIY faux marble tile on my fireplace. Little sneak peek of that. That video is coming soon and it just completely changed the look of the entire fireplace. It was easy to do and it was super affordable. If you have the space, you could do a whole wall of peel and stick tile or regular tile, preferably like in your kitchen or if you have a bar area or a coffee bar. It just helps create a beautiful focal point. If you're ready to create an accent wall but don't want to spend too much and also don't want to go too crazy, try a small wall. Maybe you have a small foyer or entryway and maybe there's just a side wall where you'd love to add something. One thing you could do is just add a pop of color to a wall 
add a large art piece, and then a console to the bottom. This just really gives your space that character. It inserts your personality into your home and is one of the first spaces that your guests see when they walk in. And it's just gonna give that wow factor. Painting a smaller wall like this is not gonna take a lot of time. And if you don't love the color in a few months, it's easy to change it out. Another DIY accent wall is using mirrors. You could use really large mirrors that don't have any framing around them if you need to make the space look really large. But one thing I am loving is the DIY vintage looking mirrors. I really see this in a coffee bar or bar area and I am obsessed with the look of it. I am planning on doing something like this in my own home. They also have smaller tiles that have that antique mirror look to them. This just makes the space look so amazing. Mirrors are also great because they help reflect any light in the space, so it helps your space look larger. All right, board and batten. You knew it was coming at some point, but there are so many different styles of board and batten you could do. I mean, we're talking squares or just a straight line down. You could do two pieces close together. You could do the whole wall in a bunch of close little pieces. There are just so many options with board and batten, and it's one of my favorite accent walls to do because you can really change the look of your home and make it more modern, change it to contemporary, traditional. You can make it look a certain way depending on what board and batten you use and how you style it. And I just love that because you could use the same pieces of the board and batten wood all throughout your home, but make it look completely different in every room. It's really gonna take your flat, plain wall and give it some dimension and character. In my hallway, which is kind of dark and narrow and not very exciting right now. I cannot wait to add board and batten to the entire hallway. It's just gonna make it look so much better and really elevate it. All right, the next one is to add shelving to your space, but let's take it an extra step further and add wallpaper behind the shelving because that is really just gonna give it that wow factor. I love the look of this one right here with the bold, colorful wall wallpaper, but then adding the wood shelves to it just helps to bring in some of that warmth. It is a beautiful accent statement wall for sure. All right, the next one is a stenciled accent wall. You've probably seen these pop up over the past 10 years. Something simple that you could do is take an oil-based Sharpie marker. I have done it before to create a faux shiplap wall in one of my houses. It doesn't take very long to do this, maybe an hour or two, but you can totally elevate a small space of your home with a marker or some simple paint. If you're not ready to commit to wallpaper, even peel and stick wallpaper, having a smaller stenciled wall is a good place to start. It's not permanent. You can play around with different designs and even different colors. All right, the next accent wall we're gonna talk about are geometric shapes. These would be perfect in a kid's room or a playroom or even in a bathroom. I love the idea of adding some shapes behind a bed as well. As a headboard, you could add some beautiful color, you could add a rainbow, so many different options to really make the space unique to you. I even thought about doing something adorable like this rainbow design in my daughter's room. I think she would love it. So many fun ideas. All right, our next accent wall is wainscoting. Let's look at a more traditional type of wainscoting where it is that more detailed strips of wood. Usually wainscoting too is on the lower half or third of your wall and they just give it a more classy vibe. I love some ideas where you paint the top two thirds of the wall a dark moody color and then put the wainscoting on the bottom third and have it be a nice white bright color. Or you could totally flip flop that and do the opposite. They even have peel and stick wainscoting now, also called some chair molding. This is super easy where you can just stick it on your wall and have it make a huge impact. 
All right, your next DIY accent wall is adding stone, concrete, or plaster to a wall. A great place to do this would be a fireplace. While plaster is pretty simple and straightforward, I understand that like adding stone to a fireplace may be a little bit beyond your DIY skills, but again, they have peel and stick stone nowadays, so that would be a great option. In one of my houses, I did a faux concrete fireplace by only using paint. I had a layer of white paint down and then I did one layer of Dovetail by Sherwin-Williams and because it kind of mixed with the white, it looked like actual concrete, but it wasn't. All right, this next one is one of my absolute favorites and I am thinking of a way that I can use this in my own home. It is these wood panels, absolutely obsessed with them. I was almost gonna use that on my fireplace, but I think I might do that in my front entryway instead, but they are gonna totally elevate your home. And I love that there are a few different colors to choose from and you can choose these in a longer style style or shorter pieces that you stack on top of each other. And they have been really on trend the past year or two as well. You're going to see a lot of high-end designers use these. All right, the next one is geometric wood detail on the wall. I think these are amazing in a hallway. They would be great. I was at a local clothing store recently and they had this amazing wall in the dressing room. And I just thought it was so beautiful. It just takes a little creativity definitely design what you're gonna do before you actually do it but I think this could look amazing all right your next DIY accent wall is a two-tone paint color I've seen this starting to pop up places I know it's not for everyone but you could do a bold color with a neutral color you could do a light green with a dark green I mean you could totally have fun you could do um, two colors that are on the paint swatch that are right next to each other so it's just a little bit of a difference but not too crazy. Again, this would be great for a smaller room like a bathroom or a small wall that you have in your front entry or even doing something like this in like an open closet that you have would just give it some extra fun detail inside. All right, the next one is painting stripes on the wall or doing an ombre wall. I have seen this done recently a few times and it just looks so beautiful. I think if you have a basement where it's kind of a family hangout room an ombre wall or a striped wall would be so great down there or like a kids playroom video game room it would just look amazing and you can really have fun with what colors you choose all right the next one is beadboard this definitely adds a little bit more elegance to an area but the character and sophistication it brings, I just love it. I had a bathroom in one of my houses and we did half beadboard on the bottom, paint on the top. It just elevated that space. And then I also turned a closet into a little mud room. We took off the doors, but then we added beadboard in there and I painted it. It just took the space to a whole new level. Other places you could add beadboard are to like the back of a kitchen island, to a fireplace. You could even put beadboard on your doors in your home to elevate them and make them look unique to your own space. All right, the next accent wall you could do is creating a huge gallery wall. And there are so many ways that you could do this. You could do this with pictures from all your travels that you have had, or you could do this with abstract art photos. You could do this with pictures of your kids. Um, places that I like to add gallery walls are behind a couch, going up and down a stairway, wherever you have a large wall and you kind of need to fill it up with something, and then you can be creative with the way that you place the frames as well. All right, and the last one, a little bonus one, is painting a mural. You don't have to be an expert at this. I would suggest like a kid's room would be so fun to do this in. A hallway would be great. Or again, like a half bathroom. Um, I've even seen someone I follow on Instagram. She painted a mural on the outside of her home in the backyard where it's by their pool 
table and it's just like so fun. I hope you got some great ideas from all of these accent walls and I can't wait to see what you do with your own home. If you use one of these, let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you back here soon.